So welcome back to Off-Road Icon. My name is Javier and I'm glad you're joining in today. So right now, I've been having a little bit of a dilemma. So I am heading to my buddy's house. His name is Colin. You've probably seen him on the channel before. He uh, did the install for the KDSS system. He uh, has helped me here and there for some stuff. And he owns a black uh, older gen 4Runner. Is that a 4th gen? It's a fourth gen, maybe a third gen. I don't know. I don't know my four runner gens. But uh, so I'm heading to his house. I've been having a little bit of problems. So my son plays baseball. It's a little cold out. It's getting a little bit warmer, but it's been a little cold out. And I've been taking a five gallon or a twenty gallon propane tank. Is out there? Whatever. I've been taking a barbecue propane tank with me every week, with three times a week, four times a week, sitting in the back of my truck. And I think it's about time to make sure it doesn't just go rolling around. So what we're gonna go ahead and do in this video is I'm gonna head to his house. I'm gonna pick up some riv nuts because we're gonna need riv nuts. And then we're gonna make some holes in my truck. I'm gonna put some riv nuts in my truck. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So hopefully that works out. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking about pulling the high lift jack off the rack and mounting it somewhere else, which if we're gonna have these rib nuts, seems like a perfect time. Um, update to the changing of the turbo actuator. The truck is running great. I can get up to 30 pounds of boost again. My exhaust brakes kicking right on nice and fast. All in all, I couldn't be happier with the change. Um, the Alpha OBD calibrated it to my, I guess, understanding just right because I'm having no issues. Uh, I got the back brakes changed and apparently they had 50% pad life left. I thought they were shot. I haven't changed them in about two years. My truck squeals pretty consistently. I changed the front pads probably less than a year ago. I don't drive it. I don't think a lot, a lot. I mean, I drive it daily, but since the whole pandemic, I've been working from home, so I don't really drive it that much. And then even when I did work out of town, I drove it to the airport and sat, and I drove it home at the end of the week. So maybe 100 miles a week. Probably about the same now. Maybe a little bit more, more with baseball. But it seems like my brakes are always, always, always squealing. I don't know if it's my fronts. I don't know if it's my backs. I buy... Um, I don't buy ceramics. I buy some metallics because I don't like to worry about the uh, harshness on the rotor. At the end of the day, I feel like it's cheaper to change the rotor out than it is to, you know, or it's cheaper to change brakes out than it is to change the rotors out. So, I don't know if you can hear it. There's my exhaust brake right there. But, anyways, let's head on over there. Let's see if I can keep this video under 10 minutes. Peace. All right, guys, so here we go. Sorry for the wind. I can't help that part. Weather's starting to like crap, but real quick. So I borrowed a rib nut tool. Here you go, that's what it looks like. Put a link in the description below for my buddy. And basically, I bought this bracket. It's a cylinder tank bracket. It's not really meant for propane tanks. I actually, what I did was I took this off. Just had a, used to come, I guess, farther this way. So I cut it and basically ripped it. If you're looking at it like this, looking at it like this I kind of ripped it so it's straighter it used to come let's put it back in frame I kind of ripped it so it was straighter here instead of it coming out that way and then bending it and the plan is I want to put it right there so there's the plan that's what we're gonna do and I'm gonna go ahead and just set you guys up in a little better spot drill some holes use the tool and see if we can get it to work all right, so I got a 3 8 drill bit, half inch hardware, or 3 8 hardware. Oh, sorry. Shoot. I'm going to try to semi split that.
Alright, so I went and got step bit. So I can hopefully be a little bit more accurate. shy of a half inch pretty sure you just open this up I think this guy right here yeah kind of buttons you up there flush it out put these guys on. Oh yeah, it worked really well. Hardware's a little long. I have to buy some replacement hardware. It's just what I had lying around the house. So that was a real quick install hope you guys liked it do me a favor smash the subscribe button hit the like button down below hit the bell notifications for future videos again that just solves a quick little problem i probably spent 30 bucks 
instead of buying a power tanks or some other bracket. We'll see if it works out. I'll let you know. I'm probably gonna move my high lift jack into my bed as well. So now that I've done it and tried it out, those rib nuts seem to work really well. That's probably next. Catch you in the next video. Peace.